Let's say you move $100 from bank account A to bank account B. You might imagine that a bank employee is physically moving cash from vault to vault. But all that really happens is your bank changes some numbers. It subtracts $100 from your listed balance for account A, and it adds $100 onto the balance for account B. This is called a ledger, a digital record that represents money. As more transactions become purely electronic, more and more of our lives are kept in these digital ledgers, where the only thing changing is the software's ones and zeros. In this example, you don't control your own ledger, the bank does. But what if there was a ledger that no single person or company controlled? That's the idea behind blockchain technology. Blockchain is a digital ledger that is publicly accessible and stored across a network of computers. And instead of a bank or government verifying your transactions, that work is done by computers solving complex math problems. The transactions are bundled up and connected to each other like a chain of paper clips. Trying to break into one part of the chain would affect the entire network, so blockchain is considered virtually unhackable. Of course, the best known application of this technology is digital currencies like Bitcoin. But this form of decentralized and permanent record keeping could have many other applications. It could create a system of personal IDs that doesn't require your government to verify who you are. And some people even say it could create entirely new forms of money.